What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. Now, I know I said the next time I do a video, I was going to hear the beeping noise, you know? But I did have some people reach out to me and told me that they don't mind. So uh, I guess I'll continue on doing, you know, it's, it's, I wish I could tell you why the beeping thing is happening. I just can't. Okay? I, I just can't tell you why there's the beeping going on and the beeping is going to be happening in my videos until I leave a certain place. I can't say no more than that. So you're just going to have to go through with it. Okay? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Anyway, let's talk about this self-entitled woman here. Here is a guy who, on a first date, by the way, wanted to take his woman to the Cheesecake Factory. And she had a big problem with that. Why is that? Because this woman was expecting more than what she might even be worth. I'm not saying that she ain't worth it, but what I'm saying is, you wanted more. Maybe, I, I, you know, I'm going to say this. He could have told her that we're going to the Cheesecake Factory on a date or whatever. He didn't tell her and she was expecting we, we're going to go somewhere, you know. But there's, I don't see nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. I really don't. She does. She didn't want to get out of this man's car. You can look up the video. Um. Uh, just go to Cheesecake Factory Date or Cheesecake Factory Date Girl or whatever the case may be. You can look up the video, the interview, and all that. You know, there's a lot of people on YouTube that's doing um, stuff like this here. I don't understand this woman and how you can degrade this man here. And do you not only did you degrade him, you degrade the Cheesecake Factory. What's wrong with it? You know, it's a first date. This man could have had money. And he took it. He, you know, when I was sitting up here thinking when I was watching this, I was like, you know what? I wanted to, I was thinking maybe he took her to the Cheesecake Factory to see if she's a gold digger. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she see that he got some money. He got a nice car. I know he's going to take me somewhere ex expensive, but he's like... I want to see if if she's real. Is she going to be real with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if I took her out somewhere to the Cheesecake Factory, I wonder how she going to, you know, try to, you know, talk about me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I want her, I want to know what her reaction is if I took her somewhere. like. But I don't see nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. It was a test that you failed. You failed the test because you wanted more. You wanted something bigger. You could you start small through the cheesecake, you know, and like I say, there's nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, but you start with the Cheesecake Factory and then you work your way up. You know? That's how you do it. You failed the test. And that's that's what, what this guy. That's what was probably in his head while he was taking this woman on this date. You know, I, I man, I listen, let me tell you something. When it comes, see, women want a lot. They want to be pleased and all that, right? They want all the, the, the everything that a man can get, right? Everything a man that can give them, okay? But you gotta start small. You gotta crawl before you walk. You gotta start, and then it grows consistently by a man wants to know what is your mind of thinking? What are you? You know, I'm trying to get to know you. I'm trying to get to better this. Because if I like you, I wanna see where your head is at. You know what I'm saying? Then we can work our way up. You know? 
but she obviously didn't get the point. She was just thinking about, oh, this is like taking me to McDonald's. This is like taking me to Burger King or Arby's. Cheesecake Factory. See, you messed up. And that's why men are saying, what do women want? What do y'all want? You know, this is a first date. I could see if the second or third date, okay, let's try something different. You know what I'm saying? We'll try something, we'll try something better. You know, but this was all a test and you failed the test. You failed. You, you can only blame yourself for, for this here. You can only blame yourself for this here. And, you know, this guy here was, he didn't see nothing wrong with it. And I bet he got money. He probably got a lot of money. Probably more money than you got. You know, and like I said, he just wanted to know where was you at? Where was your mind at? You know, and, and, and you know, you failed, man. You failed. The only way you can blame is yourself. Now this thing has gone nationwide, all kind of news media and all kind of YouTubers and all that talking about it. Now you've been exposed to like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. Oh, my God. Well, yo. You should have kept that to yourself, but instead you want to, and then you put this man on camera. You made an interview with this guy and you just made yourself look more ridiculous. You know, you didn't have to do that, but you did it to try to prove a point. What was your point? What was your point? Oh, look at me. I did, and then you came an hour late. You came an hour late. You didn't even let this man come into your apartment. I understand, you know, women want to be safe. I understand. But you, you came an hour late. I don't know. I don't care if you call the fashion be late or whatever. An hour this man had to wait on you. He could have been thinking he was going to take you somewhere nice, you know. But when you come an hour late, like, we're going to go to Cheesecake Factory. You failed in every which away, in every which away. So don't blame this guy here for doing what any other sensible man would do on a first date. You know, you you <laughs> you messed yourself up in more ways than one. Now the internet got to you. You got all these people watching these videos over and over and over again about you. There ain't nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory, especially on the first date. And the way you look, I'm pretty sure you ain't been eating salads this whole time. I ain't going to talk about nobody either, but come on, man. Like Stephen A. Smith said, you don't look like you just, you just with someone eating salads. You look like you been eating a few burgers yourself, so come on now. But you messed yourself up, man. You really did. Shout out to this guy here, man. Hey, I hope you find what you're looking for, man. Someone that's going to lower their standards and not be so high maintenance. You know what I'm saying? That you're going to find a woman that's going to be like, oh, the Cheesecake Factory? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. You know, I hope he finds that girl. So, all right, y'all. Sparing them out. Peace.